Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen, somebody. All of all legs. Old, old, skinny. You look at them and they turn sideways. You don't even see them no more. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Honey, I'm talking about it tonight because God told me there's a requirement. There's a, somebody said, well, I don't think it had nothing to do with the dressing. Stupid, what you talking about? Man, if it didn't have nothing to do with the dressing, tell out tell 2 Timothy. Tell out Timothy 2, 9 and 10. That let the women that profess godliness dress in modest apparel. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Can we say amen? If it didn't have nothing to do with the dressing, he wouldn't have told us that our bodies are the temple. You don't tattoo your body, putting all that mess on your arm and talking about this is my love. And look at her, look at her dance. You ain't nothing but a devil's child. Do you hear what I'm saying? And God is telling me, if you don't soon meet the requirements, it's going to be too late for you. Can we say hallelujah? Cost the wages of your sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. He said it's holiness. Hallelujah. He didn't say it was Baptist. He didn't say it was Catholic or Methodist or Orthodox. No, 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 no. He didn't say it was this or that. But he said it was holy. If you're not holy, you can't see his face. Hallelujah. The Bible said in Isaiah 35 and 8, there shall be a way and there shall be a highway. And that way should be called the way of holiness. And the unclean shall not walk therein. Can we say amen? It'll be for the wayfaring man. No lion shall ever therein. Can we say hallelujah? It's holiness on the earth. And Lord, when we get to glory, what you think is going to be there? Holiness. Tell somebody say holiness. So I heard Moses say, you should therefore sanctify yourself and be holy. Because the Lord thy God is holy. Get out of mess. He said, get out of mess. Get out of backbiting. Get out of lying. Get out of gossiping. Get out of jealousy. Get out of stealing. Get out of dying. Get out of lying. Say yeah. Say glory. Put your hand together. Say you have to be. Tell somebody you must be. You must, 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 must be. Say hold it. Tell somebody have to be clean. Clean. Clean in your heart. Clean. Clean in your thought order. Your thoughts have to be clean. So David would say, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, he said, my God and my Redeemer. Can we say hallelujah? The devil is mad at the saints because we've chosen to have Jesus on the inside. How many of you chosen Jesus? Hallelujah. You can have this whole world, but give me. He said, give me Jesus. Because if you give me Jesus, I can live holy. If you give me Jesus, I can stay saved. If you give me Jesus, I can run through troops and leap over walls. If you give me Jesus, I can stay sanctified. If you go be cobo, tell him, say, give me Jesus. Hey, glory. Look at somebody say, give me Jesus. Say, that's all I need. First Peter 1 and 14. Can we say man, church? Can we say man? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is not pleased with formalism or ritualism. Amen, somebody. Formalism and ritualism is that which is of the world. Do you hear what I'm saying? God's sick of these folk coming and talking about I'm saved and I'm holy and don't have a nickel's worth of dog meat. Do you hear what I'm saying? God said I call for holiness years ago. Even under the Old Testament, he called for holiness. Amen, somebody. And now under the new, do you know he haven't changed his message? Do you know the message is the same? Look at this Bible in 1 Peter 1 and 14. And what does the Bible say? As obedient children. Mm-hmm. Not fastening yourself. Do you see that? According to the form of love. As obedient children. Tell somebody obedient children. Obedient. When you're obedient, you do not fasten yourself according to the form of lust. You know how you used to act. You know how you used to live. And Lord, you know how you used to dress. Y'all ain't said, well, I don't think dressing have nothing to, listen, let me do the preaching with you, dummy. Praise our God. I'm the one that has to do the preaching. I'm trying to tell these folk what God requires. And God sent me to tell them that because I am the minister anointed by him to bring the message to the world. Y'all ain't said nothing here. Can we say amen, somebody? 
That's the trouble with us. We got too many religions, too many faiths, and too many beliefs. But the Bible said in Ephesians 4, there's one Lord. Did he say that? There's one faith and one baptism. And when you get it, hold on to it. And be no longer children tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. I'm not about to go with what these churches are teaching. These old people teaching out here how you can look and how you can act. Honey, that's not what God is requiring. God is requiring a holy image. A holy image. God said, I want you to be holy from your head to your feet inside out and outside in and I know somebody going to come and say well holiness is a way of life that's right that's why you take off that old worldly stuff after you get saved because if any man be in Christ Jesus he's a new creature all things can we say amen hallelujah these women showing all these old bobs and, and, and tinker bells and inker bells y'all ain't saying nothing amen just want to look over. well see I, I love God honey I don't want to see your yo yo whatever it is Y'all ain't saying nothing. Look at y'all looking at me here. It's a shame. It, it, people wouldn't walk up in the church like that years ago. Now they're coming in, up in here, no brawls, no draws, no nothing. Just walking up in the church. I'm slapping it on you. I don't care if you're hey Amen, somebody. I'm trying to get people to see it's holiness or it's hell. If you don't want holiness, you're not going to meet the requirement. If you're going to walk in glory, you got to be holy. To, yeah. Somebody say holy. I'm your believer tonight. Can we say man, church? I said, can we say man? Everything is showing. Splits are showing. Cracks are showing. Slits and, well, praise him. Y'all ain't saying that. Amen, church. Y'all better amen me and cut some of this out. What is the Bible? He's taking us for a ride today. What does the Bible say in 1 Peter 1, 14? As obedient children. Yes. Mm -hmm. According to the formula. Yes. And your ignorance. And your ignorance. But as he. Amen. Folk are ignorant. Yes, when they think they know God, and the Bible said being ignorant of God's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, and have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness which is of God. You, you, you see, you have to learn the word. Jesus said, ye do error not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. God's power will enable you to do what you thought you could never do. Do you hear what I'm saying? Somebody said, I just can't take my lipstick off. It's just, it just does something to my lips and it makes me look like a movie star. Well, honey, when you get saved and holy like the Bible said, those big old juicy raspberry lips will dismiss the lipstick. Do you hear what I'm saying? And take away all the orange rouge and the eyebrow pencil. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Look like you an Indian painted up for the world. Well, you a man, somebody. I know what I'm talking about here. People don't want to be holy. Look at somebody say, people don't want to be holy. They want to live like they want to live. They want to act like they want to act. They want to do like they want to do and still say, this is the way to holiness. I don't care what that man say. Well, don't, you don't have to care what I say, honey, because I want you to know the word's going to judge you in the last day. And you can't tear it out the Bible. If it's in the word of God, God said that I believe it. And, and that settles the whole thing. Can we say hallelujah? Oh, do you hear what I'm saying today? I know there's a lot of folk that don't like it. And many people are saying they preach that holiness over there. Honey, it's the only way you can get the glory. It's the only way you can be saved. Hallelujah. Because Jesus said in St. John 6, 63, he said it's the, it's the spirit that quickened it. The flesh, what did he say? Prophet of nothing. It ain't nothing but flesh on parade. And I heard him say it in 1 Corinthians 1, 29. Don't let no flesh glory in my presence. Did he say that? Folk is walking in flesh and talking in flesh. And that's why they have all these teas and fashion shows sitting up five hours sipping tea and fashion shows at all these amen one string bikinis walking across amen the stage and amen here go the nurse her and her big old thighs and amen showing a swimming suit off and you don't have nothing to cover nothing everything is naked and blubber and rubber y'all ain't saying nothing here amen y'all might as well sit down because I'm preaching here today can we say man somebody I don't need no choir to take me off when I'm preaching this word can we say man God said wait a moment if you're going to meet the requirements you got to be holy way with your T's and way with your band crits and way with your programs and way with your mess I'm calling for holiness yeah can you say yeah God said if you're not holy you're not going to the kingdom if you're not holy you're not going to amen enter 
to the blessings. Can we say amen? God said there's a place by me. God said there's a place by me. If you live holy, I'm going to see you there. I'm going to put you there. But what you have to do is get out of sin, get out of iniquity, and walk upright and live holy like the Bible say. Can we say glory? When they tell you not to live it, say devil, I'm going to live it because God said it. It's a requirement. It's a requirement. Yeah. Say yeah. Touch somebody say it's a requirement. It's a requirement. It's a requirement. Get out the miniskirts. It's a requirement. I don't care if it's 110 in the shade. Get out. Get out the T-straps. 